Kodawari is a pretty special word. It means the relentless and uncompromising pursuit of growth in Japanese. And at the inception of Kodawari, we were really struggling to find a name for the shop. I didn't want to settle for anything. And my cousin actually offered this word to me. As soon as I heard it, it was just like a hell yes for me. Once we had nailed down that word, I knew that the second word had to be collective just because Kodawari Collective and this whole journey, I, I knew was only going to be worth doing if we were going to be doing it with other people. The NSX was a car that I never really understood how special it was until I got behind the wheel of it. It, it, it just drove very differently. It was a car that it was just craving to drive again and again. Every single time I got out, I was always like, you know what? You know, I love driving Hondas from, from the beginning, but there was something really special about this Honda. The driving experience of the NSX was just something that was really, really special to me. And I, I was trying to find a way to weave in how we could build a business around car care, uh, build a business that would help people care for their cars so that they can enjoy their cars, so they can enjoy driving it, enjoy building it, you know, just living this lifestyle. And then, you know, growing up, the McLaren F1 was always a really special car to me. Uh, Gordon Murray has gone to open up his, you know, he has his own automotive company now. I remember watching when he debuted the T50, Gordon Murray came out and said, we are trying to build the best driving experience in the world with this T50. And again, that, that just really resonated with me. And he was like, it's built on three pillars. It's gotta be lightweight, it's gotta be naturally aspirated, and it's gotta be manual. And those three things were just right on the money when I thought about what I enjoy. Running with that philosophy, you know, when we first got the NSX, most of the modifications were kind of just aesthetics. Uh, the previous owner had it really well done. Just a minor, few minor tweaks uh, here and there to kind of make it our own. But after that introduction into Gordon Murray's philosophy, that's when we really started focusing on trying to create the best driving experience. And first and foremost, um, in order to enjoy driving these cars, the suspension was something that we, we really focused on because having the car at a certain height, having the car with the right fitment is really important to us. And that means that when you're driving a car like this in the city, it's a little hard to, to get around. So we opted to go with a KW Club Sport coilover. Not too long after we got this, the Club Sports, KW came out with their HLS system, which is their hydraulic lift system. It's just a reservoir cup that connects to a pump that we located, we placed in the back of the trunk. And you can put it on the front or rear axle. We opted to go with both just because the diffuser kind of hangs a little low. But that is probably one of my favorite mods on the car because it allows for me to have the peace of mind that I can go anywhere with the car. The next thing we did was a few chassis reinforcement parts, uh, all from the original Type R in Japan. I think it's sway bar and two reinforcement bars, but it's, it's really made a big difference. Another thing we did was the Type R transmission gear set. So that wakens up power band in terms of the car wants you to shift more. And it's, it's, it's always encouraged you to drive more spiritedly. So that was a huge improvement in terms of where it was originally. And then the weight savings. So we started exploring different ways to, to put some weight off the car. And that started with the dry carbon hood. We also ordered dry carbon front and rear rebars with brackets. And these dry carbon pieces are so beautiful. 
and uh, that's a piece that actually puts a big smile on my face knowing that it's there. But even with that specific modification, we were able to shave off like 40 pounds, I believe. And then we added a, like a few more mods that would help shave bits of weight here and there. So the seats took off weight, uh, the exhaust system took off more weight, uh, suspension removed weight, the anti-gravity battery, which is a lithium battery, removed some weight, the polycarbonate hatch. Uh, we removed the glass one, put the cold polycarbonate hatch in, that added to moving some weight as well. And yeah, all these little bits and pieces added up to, I believe about like 200 pounds. In conjunction with fine tuning the suspension, making the transmission be in the sweet spot and then removing the amount of weight that we have off the car, it's just a completely different car from what, what, what we had it. And this doesn't feel like 275 horsepower or 270 horsepower. And I think it is an accumulation of all those mods, but done it with the right balance that has really, you know, produced something pretty special. In my I would say where the NSX sits right now is just like a stage one before we pursue anything more than that. Kotawari is about growth in a craft and we are really passionate about the craft of driving. So we're gonna be spending the next couple of years enjoying the car, being on track and really developing our, our love for driving before we take it to the next level. So where would I like to see the car go? Um, we definitely plan on keeping the car naturally aspirated. Christian, my friend from Austria, he specializes in building naturally aspirated NSXs. His own personal car, it was like sitting at 420 horsepower naturally aspirated. He had stroked it out to, I believe, like 3.8, something along those lines. But I, I think eventually that's where we would like to take the performance. And then in terms of aesthetics, you know, I've always dreamed about designing my own arrow. I've always dreamed about what it would look like if we were to take this NSX and this chassis and start like a resto mod. So I think we would continue to further remove more weight off it, find that balance, and, and then increase the power. So I think down the line, yeah, having our version of, of resto mod where someone can come and be like, hey, now this is my NSX. I love the way you built yours. Can you do it exactly like this? You know, throughout the journey of meeting uh, our friends at Tires 23 and then helping build the next mod, you know, I, I've been able to piece and take a little ingredient from each of those uh, chapters of my life. And it's kind of led into Kodawari Collective as it stands right now, which is our attempt at building our version of the ultimate destination for car culture. You know, like our, our own little sanctuary of car culture, um, doing things with, with people that are like-minded. So just having that commitment to growth, that commitment to always pursue excellence and, you know, just working with one another and building it together. Because I feel like I've been lucky enough to have had people trying to show me that kindness, which has given me this opportunity to be where I am at today. And, and we really want to pay that forward with Code Warrior Collective. We really want to inspire other people to see what would happen if they pursued an area of passion and maybe did it with, you know, a, a community that they enjoy being around. So that's that's kind of where things are at right now with Kodawari Collective and we wouldn't be here today without the support of a lot of people and it's it really is that that why you know that sense of building something special hoping to inspire others that really gives the people that we're looking to connect with a reason to come and want to be a part of this. <laughs>